What's happening guys, it's Clarky Games and welcome back to Franbo. Last episode we managed to complete chapter 2 part 1, we are now on chapter 2 part 2 and we're in someone's kitchen. The heck? Um, why is this part painted black and white? This is true, why? Who the hell are you guys? This is midnight, those girls took my kitty. If I were to keep the chimney warm. Huh. A cooker to cook. My mummy told me how to use this. Well, we can take you, for sure. A sharpy, shiny knife. That'd be good to have. Shy my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Spatula sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. There we go. Honey bear. Cookies. Flour. Baking soda. Okay, we're going to take the baking soda. Pine cone. Anything else we can take? We can take the bow. Okay. We're probably going to need that a bit later, aren't we? Um, those eyes. Uh, it's funny to see what people have in their homes. Uh, pot. Okay, take that one too. She's clicking on random stuff. What's this? Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Okay. I won't lay down in that thing, but what are these here? Let's try to get out of here instead, okay? Look out the window. Close the window. It's cold. Open the pee box. Okay, then. Anything you do with the wood? We clicked on the wood? Poor shades. Yes, we did. Could pick up you. This is literally like the beginning of every single episode. I'm just walking around, picking up stuff. Can we click on you? Can we click on you? Can we click on you? Oats. Uh, pepper. Okay, always good to dress the soup. We're making soup. Salt, very good ingredient. Okay. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. I thought it said this smells like weed. It's like, little girl, how do you know what weed smells like? You shouldn't do a little thing, but it looks like a seed, okay? I wonder what who Mush is because he owns all the mushrooms, okay? More meat pictures. Okay, we can run the tap. Just clicking on things and smelling must be plastic flowers then. Can we go into the next room? Okay, we can. Okay. Ooh, boobies. <laughs> it's a pretty house. It's like a little dollhouse. This is not my cup. Teapot has no tea. Sugar with many colours. Delicious and beautiful. Mm, caramel sauce all over it. The cake looks absolutely yummy. Sweet candy. Chocolate cake is my favourite. Should I? Oh, go for it, Fanboy. You know you want to. A vase. Put some flowers in. It has ashes inside oh god firewood in line to be burnt now I understand why what the deer wanted back in oh is that a flying pig we carry on the f what and we're not in the pills either uh hello who are you can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Okay, so we're going to carry on. Creepy. Oh, Oh my goodness, that smell. Poor girl. Who could have done this and why? Can you pick up any of you? Jazz. Oh! Remember the last episode? We clicked on like a, a, a drum. It says... Oh, I, I get it now. Jants. Jants. I think that's how you say it. That must be in them. Yeah, the drum had jants on it, whatever, however you want to say it. Anything in there? Any books? Oh, there's an owl. Typewriter. Sheep. Oh, can we click on anything over here? Tiny paintings. Before we go up the stairs, I wanted to pill it up first. What? What? 
Bless me. What did you say? Did your mummy drop you? Oh, You seem fresh. You're still alive. Come up here. A secret bottle with a secret inside. Oh, yeah, so it is. Very curious right now. I can't get from now. I need a bridge. Can we use anything as a bridge? No, we can't, can we? Okay. What about if we use the pills here? Same place again. Okay. Is it the same again here? Yeah, it is. Okay then. Well, at least it's good to know we don't have to keep going back and forth. It just goes ends up in the first place. So let's go up these stairs, then. The sisters, they look alike. What the hell? A monster who likes goats. We're going to carry a broom. How is she able to carry this all in her mum's purse? I swear, it's like Mary Poppins, her purse. Uh, painting, everyone here. Oh, wow, lovely. Oh, it's the monster, it's so much blood. What is with all the baby faces? Exactly, I wonder what the deal is with the heads and roses. They're roses? I thought it was blood. Ew. Hello, doll, who caught you? Oh, those twists are so ugly. Can you imagine sleeping in that bed? When... Though one of those doll faces just falls on you, like when you're mid asleep, and you just wake up and there's like a doll's face in it. Ah! Scary! A mirror, but why is my reflection not to there? Ha, oh, mirror doesn't do the job. Why is there a keyhole there? I wonder what the key is for. Anything we pick up here? Perfume smells like teenagers. Oh, we picked some tweezers. Anything from there. A jewelry box. Very good. Can we use the tweezers to open the keyhole? No? Okay. Keep seeing you everywhere. There's this thing here as well. Oh, a ladder perhaps. Mr. Midnight is up here. Well dark, isn't it? Until I, can, I won't touch anything until I can see what it is. Mr. Midnight, where are you? I can't see very well. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on, there's a light up there. That moved. Why did that move? <laughs> the what is that? Oh, hello, little babies. Who sold you together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, right? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Ew. A bunny doll. You waiting for Easter? Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Oh, my, oh, it's you. Oh, my goodness. My beloved friend, I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh, dear. Finally. It's me. Come closer. Please, let me see you. Oh, it is Mr. Midnight. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you so very much. I've had dreams about you. And you are here. Thank you for not giving up. Oh, and you are here. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh dear Fran, how did you find this place? After all those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open the cage. We need to get Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us to get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? 
For what I feel, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have someone else take care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, let's see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? Love you. Let's have a quick look around. Anything here we can collect? Okay, let's go down. <sighs> Don't do that! Scary! Oh, hi! Oh, you scared me! I thought no one was living here. There you are! We, we were waiting for you! Where's your head? My head? My head is in the right place. You, the precious being from another world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Frambo. That's your name, right? And your mum and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How do you know this is all, all this? We just know we have to. We are part of this world. Creepy. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that. But mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake, you'll feel much better. Thank you, but I really need to know, who told you these, you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's the odd... It's odd the way I came here. This conversation makes me feel confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in the cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be trembling? Shouldn't it be us be trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Please, I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story, but I escaped from a place. A very ugly place that opens the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find my way out. And then I came in the woods and met a giant ant and killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I, met, I made a door and it took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. And I saw a real pinecone family. And that was before I came here. And they live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. And I saw flying insects that got stuck in the tree because they have long hair. And I was alone in the woods. And now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old. But I have to turn 11 soon, and you? We are 16. Much older than you are. Than you, so you have to obey us. You don't, I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked her names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in the house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl and no family at all? Stop that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get into trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you ask for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. Oh no, please, I'll do whatever you ask for. Good. Now listen to us carefully. You need to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't actually have any idea 
I shouldn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and it's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old... Oh, my bad. Okay. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It will kill us. You see, we aren't. We weren't like this before. We used to be two pe people in two different bodies. But how is it that you're like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend an entire eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things that you'll need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. I understand. I'll be waiting here. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what it can be opened with? Can you? You silly, silly girl. Ha <laughs> ha! Well then, that was a very long dialogue indeed. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. Summon the old lost body. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. These must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Ma nama bu Caxini o mana ig bonte de e ibur esh ibur non kaznigi mabuka ibur fewen fewen. Go then. Let's go in the kitchen so we can find. Duh. It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Oh, so we can go outside the window now. Cool. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of the island. A big, big rock. I'll have to leave it there. Hey, who are you? Yes, he's speaking. Me, I'm told. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust those girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad. I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here. I'm ready to come back. This house is like a huge magnet. I told a, and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How do you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you don't if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh my goodness, I'll think of something else then. I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm, creative? I'll try to do my best. And go, please save us all. Be brave to get out of here. Poor Mr. Toad. Long plank of wood. Oh, we can peel it up now. Okay, maybe not here. Double tears need the truth on paper.
Oh, doubters, doubters. I guess some people believe in believe you when it's written down. You're here again. My sister was trying to catch me, but I ran away. Pink roses. Okay. So, in here, we'll go into the well. This is so confusing now, because it's like we've switched from... It's like... I started off, we took the pills. In reality, when it was normal, and then we took the pills, and then we ended up in a different place. And then, now it's like it's switched. So the pills bring us back to reality. I can't lift it, it's too heavy for me. I really want that bottle. Damn it. Can we cut it with the knife? Yes, we still got the knife, cool. Let's come down from there. Do you get what I mean though? It's like switched now. So, because obviously she went, oh, hello. Obviously she went down the well. Then we're down a well now. Ew! Ah, oh, that burned. Why? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle, it really burns. Use some tweezers then. I got the paper, this is so exciting. Examine. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you'll understand what the purpose of this act. If you try to crop this to see, your soul will be hidden and never see face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need Blophony Executor of the Ritual, five black candles, ashes from a pentagram, a blue blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to be witched. Well, I'm guessing they're crossed off because we already got them because we picked them up by accident. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a light, put a lightened black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to be witch, and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Well, I ain't reading that again because last time I made myself look like a fool. Not good to eat bottles. No, why was he in the bottle in the first place? Let's get out of it because it's creepy. I'd rather be here. So we need some black candles. Where can we get some black candles from? I'm guessing that's where we have to do it. Black candles around here. No, can we go out this window? Can we just close it? Okay. There was one place we didn't go up though. There's a set of stairs that we didn't go up. And that was the ones back here, where this dead girl was. Ugh. Stairs end up at a wall. Well... Okay. Burning candles. Can't we take them? Yeah, uh, so we can use the ash down there. Nicely done, Fran. Very well done, Fran. Indeed. You oh, can't do that. There's plenty of water. We've got a cauldron, do we need... With water. We got a cauldron, so yeah. Is that with that? Simples. Gosh, that must be so heavy to like carry around. Let me put it on the stove. Ok, 
tell me you set it on fire. Uh, there we go. Put the pot on there. Oh, hey. I've just got to find some black candles now. Or we can turn you off. Is there any up here? I have a proper good scooch around. Oh, can we open these drawers? Yes, we can. Black candles. Well done, Daisy. We are flying through this level. We're doing so good. Okay. What else do we have to do? Blood from the moon. A blue bloomed midnight rose. Huh. How the heck do we look? Oh, unless there's one out here. Is there one out here? So you're going to change it. Hair from your head. Right. Okay. So that will get us the hair from the head. But where do we find... Oops. Where do we find this flower? Oh, hello. You're back. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember the words. I'll learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Jeez, they're freaky. Psst, girl. I think you need to help. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. -bye. Well, that's helpful. It might have had the flower in it. Mmm. We need the moonlight flower, correct? This is a moonlight seed. I didn't see that. Oh, crap. I didn't see that it was a moonlight seed. We must have to connect it with, or combine, or use it with the moonlight. It took me way too long to figure it out. Wait, way too long, and I'm really tilted. We should now have everything. Won't work. Okay, well we need to go and get the hair from the twins. So let's use that on them. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed, we know that. Look, but look for yourself, it's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right, there, now get prepared. I'll let you know when it's ready. Good. Use the flower. Goodbye, blue rose. It's a pretty blue rose. Let's put it into the mud. Do I need to light the candles? Yep. Takes off now. Missing ingredients. Don't need the baking soda, do we? Hang on. Blood from the executor of the ritual. Oh, that's what we need the knife for. Oh. Bless. Hope it tastes good. Tra la la. Right, 
I'm just get the girls now. Tell them it's all ready for them. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes. Oh, please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Can't see who's talking. And now I say these words. Bonne dirica or ir begma or bena dig burk ukran. Whatever that says. Wait a second. That's not the right spell. You tricked us. Nice. What have I done? Oh goodness, that's not right. Go all the way up the key now. Them girls are gone and now we can free Mr. Midnight. I do want to see though if we can open this thing up here. Because there's a keyhole for a reason and I feel like there, is, there should be a reason why they could open it. Oh, what? This one can't be moved. Hmm. Do you have to join like all the cogs together? Uh, that one can't be moved either. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Seriously, I've cogged myself right up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so, I'm so smart. Again. No, we don't. Oh, I think I've done it. I think I've just about done it. Thank God for that, that took way too long. Two skeletons, what's up here? Oh God. Sister promise, we, Clara and Mia Baholmet, promise to revenge the unfair destiny Itward decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The stronger, the strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. This girl's very strange. Must be the key, that must be the key then for the thing upstairs. For Mr. Midnight's thing. Duratine, they got the yellow ones. What's the difference? Two headed doll must be a really old doll. Pink rosette. Blue one. Mother must die. Really? Shiny stuff looks like a necklace. Wow. They've got some fucked up backup bats. Backstory. Let's go up here then. And let's free Mr. Midnight. Find the key. We have found the key. Here it is. I think this is the key. It worked. Oh, it worked. My dear kitty, it worked. Come on, let me hug you. Oh, You found our kitty. Finally. Oh, 
Oh, this feels so... Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Can we just take the cake, though? That'd be great. Also, could we sweep up this stuff with the broom? Nope. Okay. Just thought we might get an achievement or something, haven't I? How the heck do we get out of here? Can we talk to you? I did it, Sir Toad. The cars are gone. This is perfect. Now I can leave this place and get to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite mobile, it would be impossible to carry the both of you to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet. What have we got? A broom? Could you swim with us with a broom? No. Baking soda? Okay then. Take this toad. It might help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here goes. Okay, so it works. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He just wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep. We don't know what kind of creatures are out there. If we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I, must, I forgot to give you something. I saw this picture. I saw you in this picture. I thought it was yours. Oh, we got our family picture back. And this book was with it too. Okay. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever. But the book is not mine. Oh, well, I'll take the book as, oh, well, I'll take the book as a gift. It is always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Well, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Gosh, he really is born with it. Look, look at that uh, slime. Ew. Is this like Frogger? I don't know what... Oops. <laughs> he lost already. Yeah. I like the music, it's well funky. Oh crap, we cooked that one up, didn't we? That was close, that was close. No? Oh, that was close too! I like the style of it, it's like, it looks like it's made out of like Play Doh. That's so cool! It's like we went on the maze, that was cool. Because like, that was like all drawn, that was so cool. And straight across! <sighs> to freedom we are! Here we go. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time for, to go home. I hope your family fam I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too, Fran. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn. And really and really soon all the scary things will disappear. 
Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We will find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Cool! Whoa! I don't know if you saw that, but the game proper glitched out there. That was creepy. Good it, Pills. Oh, they got their hair caught again. Sillies. So, are you the curious intents that got stuck? They're sleeping, maybe they're not stuck. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh dear, that bridge looks pretty scary. Oh Fran, come on, we have got we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm afraid of heights. Um I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, Kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Oh, I don't like this bridge. Not gonna lie, first one's gonna pop out. Fran, wait. No, it. I knew it. <gasps> oh my dear, I can't hold on. I can't hold it anymore. I want, don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. <gasps> no, he hasn't. Fran, no. Uh oh. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. After the pain, you always ride. What? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Is this all a dream? Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all, all alone like Mother and Father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. What is going on? Why, are, uh, why is Fran's clothes all over the place? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? Well, I'm going to leave this episode here because it looks like this chapter is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I was going to try and finish this chapter. I was hoping it was just going to be that bit with the twins' house. But obviously not. I've changed my uploading schedule. Again. <laughs> um, so now I upload videos on a Tuesday as well and these videos as you would have seen this Tuesday because yeah it would have been posted then I am now going to start doing sim challenge videos and I will be posting the sims 100 baby challenge every Tuesday Monday Manus videos will still remain the same um, although it will be a cross between Monday Manus and Let's Plays depending if I have time to, finish mon time to film Monday Manus I do enjoy filming them, but I enjoy playing Let's Plays a lot more instead of the one-off games. But I know some of the one-off games can be really fun. The Monday Madness video I posted recently, I was filming it and I was thinking, yeah, this, I have put no effort into that video whatsoever, but I've got to post something. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. If you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more episodes of Fran Bow. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye! Don't look to your gym. It's too
Looks pleasant. Don't look. Oh, they're really at it, aren't they? Jeez. Actually, because you need to anyway, it takes sense. But thank you guys so much for watching this plus play. Let's plus play, yeah? This plus play. <laughs>